Many ocean creatures are not adapted to survive on land. Some land animals, however, can hunt sea creatures in the water. Sometimes, sea creatures come out of the water to hunt, and while some of them don't come out of the water, they've devised unique tactics to capture land animals. From the European Wells catfish to the silver arowana, this video is about badass ocean creatures that eat land animals. Let's begin! Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Number 10. Archer Fish In the world, both prey and predators struggle for their survival. Insects, for instance, are hunted both by ocean, flying, and land creatures. Some insects hide on tree branches, dangling above water, believing that it's the safest hiding place. However, this is not always the case, as some predators are always in search of their prey in most uncertain places. Often, perching on tree branches becomes more dangerous than flying over water or even land. The archer fish hunts on tree branches near water for insects. The archer fish has mastered the art of hitting its prey with a stream of water rather than jumping to catch them. The stream of water strikes the insects, which then fall in the water where the archer fish picks it. Number 9. European Wells Catfish European Wells fish found in Tarna River, Albi, France has been found to slowly crawl towards the riverbank where they hunt for and eat pigeons. Researchers are yet to understand why the Wells catfish behave this way. This is because no details exist about the same behavior in European Wells catfish from other places. Some researchers opine that perhaps the catfish have exhausted their prey and are in search of food out of the water. This, however, is not enough reason to describe why just medium-sized Wells catfish measuring 1 and 1.5 meters lengthwise eat pigeons. Researchers suspect that it's because the biggest catfish are too huge to swim toward the riverbank. Again, smaller catfish are too weak to catch pigeons. Still, researchers suggest that the largest catfish, which can grow up to 3 meters lengthwise, are now hunting deep in the river, compelling the medium-sized catfish to search for alternative food sources on land. After capturing the pigeons, the Wells catfish pulls them into the water from where they eat them. From observation, researchers found that the European Wells catfish make 28% successful kills every time, surpassing lions which make 18% successful kills, albeit hunting in groups. Number 8. Killer Whale Killer whales, also known as orcas, are pinnacle predators. They hunt and consume everything they encounter. While the killer whale lives in water, it is not a fish but a mammal belonging to the dolphin family. These creatures often prey on sea animals such as seabirds, seals, turtles, octopuses, and sharks. Apart from sea animals, however, killer whales will prey on land animals strolling along the coastline and birds as they fly above the water. They can also capture big land animals such as deer and moose attempting to cross the water. Stories of killer whales pouncing on, killing, and devouring moose and deer as they attempted to cross the waters along the coast of Alaska have been told. This was, however, not captured on video. Killer whales have a long dorsal fin and come in black and white color. They have a gray spot right behind the dorsal fin, referred to as a saddle. National Geographic reports that killer whales are among the biggest genus of the dolphin family. They can grow up to 32 feet and weigh 5,443 kilograms. These mammals are widely distributed and can be found in the seas and oceans across numerous coastal countries. Number 7. Tiger Shark some birds are adapted to migrating from one region to the other. Often, they can fly long distances and will sometimes get lost along the way. However, they will continue flying until they can't fly anymore out of exhaustion. Many of them end up falling from the sky. The tiger sharks in the Mexican Gulf seem to have mastered this trend and will be on standby to catch the flying birds. If you thought that tiger sharks fed only on water birds and marine creatures, you may have to think again. A Dolphin Island Sea Lab researcher, Marcus Dryman, witnessed a tiger shark coughing out feathers along the coast of Alabama. According to him, his curiosity was ignited by the fact that those weren't waterbird feathers. He, therefore, embarked on research which saw him dissecting through tiger shark stomachs believed to have been approximately 50. Almost 25 of the tiger sharks that Marcus dissected had terrestrial bird remains, such as feet, feathers, and beaks. 
the birds were recognized as meadowlarks, woodpeckers, and tanagers. Additional investigations showed that birds had difficulties and confusion migrating due to the bright colors emanating from nearshore oil rigs. This caused them to fall in the water to the waiting tiger shark's mouths. Number 6. Silver Arowana The silver arowana is a savage hunter popular in the South American waters. It can jump out of water in a bid to capture snakes, insects, and even birds hanging on tree branches above the water. They execute their hunting tactics fast such that the prey is incapable of noticing their presence. These creatures can grow up to 3.3 feet lengthwise and can jump up to 6.6 .6 feet out of the water. In South America, this jumping capability has earned them the name Water Monkey. Silver arowanas prefer consuming land animals as opposed to sea creatures. Various videos of silver arowanas consuming beetles, spiders, snakes, and small birds have been documented. These creatures are acclimatized to hunting their prey above water so much so that scientists say keeping them in aquariums exposes them to the risk of developing drop eye. With this condition, one or even both of their eyes look down permanently. Drop eye in silver arowana happens when they are fed live fish which swim below them or any other food that sinks deep in the aquarium, forcing them to look down continuously. Silver arowanas can grow to be quite long and come with an elongated body similar to that of an eel. Number 5. Eel Catfish The eel catfish has, over the years, evolved so much so that it's capable of abandoning the water and proceeding to hunt on land. This creature loves eating beetles, despite the fact that it mainly feeds on marine creatures. Beetles love visiting water spots, which means that the eel catfish can easily capture them. The moment an eel catfish sees a beetle, it abandons the water and slithers to the land. While approaching the beetle, eel catfish raise the front area of their bodies over the beetle and warps its head downwards, aiming at its prey. With its jaw, it grabs the small beetle and slithers back to the water from where it eats. The eel catfish has a flexible spine, which facilitates ease of movement. The eel catfish, also known as Chanelibes apis, can be found in muddy swamps along the West African tropics. This creature can grow up to 16 inches lengthwise. Number 4. The African Tigerfish The African tigerfish is scientifically known as Hydrocinus vitatus. It is a ferocious species that features muscular bodies and extremely sharp teeth. It also comes with unique tiger stripes from where its name emanates from. Often, these creatures hunt in groups and are said to resist when caught on the fishing line. The African tigerfish specifically hunt barn swallow birds, which fly above the water fast. The tigerfish comes with a velvety body measuring 3.3 feet and is the only freshwater fish believed to hunt land animals. This creature exercises various tactics when it comes to hunting their prey. They can camouflage underwater and jump out as the birds fly past, or they can even chase after their prey from the water surface before jumping above the water to capture it. Reports about the unique hunting method of the African tigerfish first hit the headlines in 1940. However, they weren't confirmed until recently, when a group of researchers from the University of Northwest Pachefstroom, South Africa, witnessed this creature jumping out of the water to capture a barn swallow bird in a lake situated at the Mapungubwe National Park in South Africa. The team was on a mission to study this creature's migration and habitat routes when they saw this phenomenon. Number 3. Snakehead Fish the snakehead fish is a native to Asia. Originally, they were imported to America from Asia as pets or for food. It's from here that experts believe someone could have freed them into the Potomac River. The river is believed to have more than 21,000 snakehead fish, which have often been spotted abandoning the water to hunt for land animals. In Australia, for instance, they were seen eating snakes, rodents, and water birds. The snakehead fish abandons the water and traverses through the land by dragging themselves toward their prey and swallowing them at once. Number 2. Mudskipper Often, mudskippers will spend most of their time on land as opposed to in the water. Studies indicate that a mudskipper will eventually drown whenever it's unable to leave the water. While mudskippers breathe through the gills, they absorb oxygen via the linings of their throats, mouths, and the skin. 
These creatures can easily traverse through the land with the help of their pectoral fins to drag themselves forward. They can also execute an array of jumps or skips for ease of movement. Mud skippers are available in Australia, Asia, and Africa. They are also found in the Tonga and Samoa Islands. Generally, mud skippers thrive in subtropical or tropical habitats, even though some species thrive in temperate regions. Mud skippers can thrive in various salinities. Currently, researchers say there are 34 different species of mudskippers which can feed on land creatures during low tide. Some species can even travel long distances from the water edge compared to others, while some only dwell in regions covered with water at high tides but spend lots of time out of the water. Mudskippers have enlarged, torpedo-shaped bodies with a muscular pectoral fin on each of their sides and two dorsal fins. Number 1. Rainbow Trout the rainbow trout is a freshwater fish with a black spotted, colorful body. This creature can jump high into the air and will fight back when caught. It can eat anything and often hunts for both aquatic and land animals. The rainbow trout's ability to consume land animals was established in 2013 when a researcher discovered 20 shrews in its stomach. Continued research suggests that rainbow trouts can feed on mice and voles, among other small mammals. The creatures are fond of eating small mammals, especially during the prey's reproduction season when they are in abundance. Researchers are yet to discover the tactics these creatures use to catch their prey. However, they believe that rainbow trouts capture them from the banks when their prey stray near their habitat. Have you ever heard of these creatures before? Do you know any other ocean creatures which have mastered the art of land hunting? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.